Hello everyone, this is Hazel Marie and welcome to my craft room. Tonight I'm going to do a um, sort of a project share as well as a, a tutorial uh, because the item or project that I'm doing is a little large and um, I thought I needed to go ahead and prepare some of the things ahead of time. Now, as you can see, let me move out. Okay, this is a frame. I'm going to push it towards you so you can see the whole thing. It starts up here, kind of reminds me of a roof line. And uh, it has two boards here. And it has some uh, decorative trim there. It has uh, two, um, I guess you would call them uh, balusters maybe. Uh, they're turned. Um, as you can, hopefully, as you can see, you can at least see down in here where they are. And then there's some scalloping going on through here. I'm not sure what that is. Kind of looks like it waves or something. And that's on each side. And then this was totally blank. There was nothing here. Uh, and it had a lip underneath that was like for a, um, you could put a mirror in it or you could put a, a picture or you could do what I'm doing. It's kind of a wall hanging. And um, then they uh, put this on the top, uh, which is uh, a finished piece, <clears throat> excuse me. And then on the bottom, they put like a, uh, a board to finish it off. Now this can stand on its own uh, if it you know, has a wall behind it, or it has a, um, a uh, sawtooth uh, hanger on the back. Now, what I did <clears throat> was my husband uh, cut me a uh, piece of um, um, cardboard, and uh, that cardboard uh, fit to where it would go exactly into uh, a frame, or a, uh, you know, like a mirror would fit up in there, and I took that, and I put... Um, some batting on top. Uh, in England, they refer to it as bunting, and I think that's cute. I like that word. I, I don't know what bunting, uh, but we usually call it uh, fiber fill or polyester fill um, or quilting batting, quilt batting, and I put that on top and I glued it uh, down, and now I used hot glue. And um, then I put a, a fabric on it. And this is a beautiful piece of fabric. And I'll see if, um, if you can see it. Let me see if I can get my camera. Now, this piece actually was a um, sham. And I bought it at the Goodwill store, which is a resale shop. Um, where they employ and help people with disabilities and so I'm always glad to be able to find something there. I actually cut it apart and I will have uh, another piece to do another project with. Uh, so I glued uh, all three pieces together and then I glued it to this wooden piece. Now the next thing I did was I added this beautiful doily. Now, this was gifted to me by Margaret Gein, G-E-E-N. And uh, she does not have a YouTube uh, channel, but she is on Facebook. And her name is Margaret, M-A-R-G-A-R-E-T-H, Gein, G-E-E-N. She's very, very, very talented, and um, I had uh, filmed that and put that on my channel, so if you want to go back and see some of her lovely work, 
and I was so excited because I could use this. I just thought this was beautiful. And uh, she sent me a large a white one, and she sent me a pink, uh, not a pink one. Um, I think it was kind of a, yeah, it is pink, I believe. Yeah, it is pink. And then um, what I did after I attached this beautiful doily, I did not cut it. Uh, I just couldn't bring myself to do that. So I kind of pushed it up under the, under here. And then what I did was I added um, this uh, beautiful um, piece of trim around the edges. And I started uh, at the top, but I fixed it to where I could start underneath because I wanted the top and the bottom to be the same. And I don't know that you can see that. But I am going to go out a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. And I went all the way around and put that just like that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add some pink. Woo! As they all kind of just kind of come off there. And I'm going to add my uh, pink pearls. Um, I got these at Hobby Lobby. And also got the trim at Hobby Lobby. Now, I did not tell you, but this frame right here, it may be one of a kind. It's kind of rustic looking. It's it's kind of um, uh, distressed. And you can see the wood through the white. And uh, you can tell that someone made it. And... Everything doesn't fit together great. That's okay because uh, I love shabby chic. And uh, so I am going to uh, put these across the top. And, and if you are a newbie, and newbie is not a bad word. It's a great word because we were all newbies at one time or the other. Um, I'm going to see if I can. This thing is just so big. It's it's just <laughs> it's big. Let's just go there. It's big. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can see it. Okay. Uh oops, I got my uh my punch on the floor and my cutting board and they're just all wrapped around each other, so I'm going to get that loose. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to start here on the edge. And then, boy, I just have too many things down there, I think. Um, if you are just starting out, in crafting, and I know a lot of people uh, have crafted for many, many, many years, but we all had to start somewhere. And um, this particular glue gun that I am using, I actually, I'm, I am a long time crafter, long, 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 long time. But I noticed that some of the crafters have these beautiful. Um, pieces of uh, glue that they would put down and it would just be like a fine line and I thought ooh I need one of those and so I said what should I get Oops. and they said a sure bonder and uh, as you can see it has a small nozzle I always get it wrong uh, wrong way hazel, I think is what they call me. Uh, but anyway, it has a sharp nozzle, and it puts down a little bit of glue. Now this one, um, I was one short, so I'm going to put that in there. Ah, so now we have that across. Now, I'm going to start, I really am having a lot of problems with my glue gun, but just one second. I think I have too much stuff right there, and I'm going to move it out of my way. 
plus I have to go over the top of this. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start underneath here. And I am going to put down, uh-oh, what happened? Okay, I am so sorry. I do not know what happened. My computer just kind of started doing its own thing. And um, it went off and it just was trying to reconnect and I, I don't know what happened. Uh, it stopped filming. Uh, so I am continuing to put these beads, these uh, pearl beads. And these are on a glue. Don't go doing that to me now. Um, they, are, they are on a, um, a roll and this came from Hobby Lobby. And um, I always buy whenever they're on half price. Um, you don't want to pay full price for anything if you, can, if you can avoid it. So anyway, I don't know what's going on here, but Everything seems to be going kind of crazy. So let's see if we got that okay. Now, I'm going to stand up because I know. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get this back out so that you can see what I'm doing. Uh, this way. Okay. Sometimes you can't tell which way you're going. My mother used to say, sometimes you don't know if it's heads or tails. <laughs> oh, I was talking to my husband the other day and I said, Oh, how I wish I have written down uh, the things my mother used to say, the colloquialisms. And uh, so <laughs> some of the things she would say was so funny. And especially in today's society, you would think, oh, my goodness. But my mother uh, grew up in East Texas, and uh, I grew up a little bit in East Texas, uh, but we were kind of a bedroom community when I when I was growing up uh, of Houston, and so uh, the ones that I heard of it from were people that we would either go visit or relatives that you know had heard this these words and these uh, comments and things like that. And uh, I never really thought anything about it because I grew up with it. I I do have to say that um, I don't remember ever using them. Um, I just thought it was something my mother did. And um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to cut that off. And so I can just attach it. little hard there. Um, but I don't remember using uh, some of the uh, old sayings that my mom used. Now my mother, <coughs> excuse me, was um, older when I was born. And uh, she was 40, I was 42. And uh, my father, uh, he was 59 when I was born. Now, I don't remember my father ever using those, but maybe it was a woman thing. I don't know. But they were funny, and I just wish I had written them down so that um, I would have them for now. Um, they were just, they're precious now, 
because you don't hear people speaking like that. But anyway, it was East Texas, and uh, it was some of the language that uh, that they used. Okay, now, what I want to do is I'm not going to add my centerpiece right now. The reason being is it is going to stick up. And I don't want to be knocking it around because uh, I think it's really pretty. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to show you uh, what I did in in parts. And uh, I'm going to add these around here. And uh, when I was laying this thing out, I was going, Well, what am I going to put here? What am I going to put there? And I like to know ahead of time what I'm going to do. I know some people will say, well, I fly by the seat of my pants. <laughs> or I don't really know what I'm going to do. That's fine. That's great. But I'm one of these. I have to know what I'm going to do. And uh, you'll fall into probably one of three categories um, if you craft very long. One of them will be, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start out and I'm just going to do so and so and uh, you choose as you go and uh, I know Fiona which is Jennings 644 uh, sometimes she just kind of oh, she makes beautiful things oh my goodness and uh, she'll kind of go decide as she goes and uh, then there are some people they only show finished products, you know, what they've done. And that's okay, too. Um, but I'm kind of, I don't know, I just, I just kind of like to know what I'm going to do. Um, and it's easier to me to show a finished project. Uh, whoo. <laughs> Hazel, you're not doing too good here. Um, but um, even though sometimes have, have a little change in them, because not everything is going to be exactly like you thought it was going to be. And uh, like right now, I'm going to have to get some glue off. But that's okay. I will take care of that. Now, I decided I would go ahead and put pearls. There I go again. Oh. Uh, Because I want this to look shabby chic, but I want it to be feminine. I love shabby chic. And I love lace. And uh, I love the two together. As you can probably tell. Oops, you know what? Now I'm out of frame on I Okay. What I'm doing is I'm going ahead and I'm going around. And I will... I can find my little mouse here. Oops. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to okay. will be good. Okay, got it. Okay, we'll just kind of wrestle with this big boy here and get him to straighten up here. Of course, I don't know that a boy would want to wear pink or uh, pearls and things like that, so I guess we better not call him big boy. Besides, it's going to be so pretty when we get through it. Oh, you know how you have it all in your head, and then you go ahead and you cut your pieces, and uh, you get your flowers, and oh, you just do all the stuff you got to do to get ready. And um, see, looks looking more feminine all the time. I'm hoping that um, 
you can see this as well as, as I can. I am going to finish this row and then I am going to take a break because uh, my husband is in a meeting and the timer just went off. It's telling me my pizza is ready in the oven. So I'm going to take a little break and then I will come right back and we will get some more work done. Here we go. Okay, everyone, I'm back. And um, as you can see, the pearls have been put both on the outside and the inside of the frame. And um, I am going to, as I move this just a little bit, I am going to um, actually, whoops, oops, 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 got the wrong, nope, I got the right one. Okay, I've got several things laying over here. Um, I'm actually going to add flowers. Let's see here, I probably need to oops, go that way just a little bit. And, um, let's see, oh, trying to reach there. Now, this is the flower that I made, um, and so many of you were so complimentary um, of the uh, doily flower that I made. Uh, I had made several, and uh, this is one of the ones I, I have left, and uh, I'm going to put it right there. And then, I knew it was hiding under there. <laughs> oh, me. Leave it to me. Okay. And then I'm going to put another flower over here. And um, these flowers were purchased uh, online, so I did not make those. So as you can see, we're going to have um, flowers up at the top. Now... I didn't like having these cutouts, and I'm going to remove these so you can see. Can you see them? Let me see if I can get This thing is so big that it's kind of hard to tell what I'm talking about. Aha, uh -huh. whoa. Let's see here. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, can you see these lines? Well, those are actually, um, um, what would you call it, um, uh, indented into the wood, or it's um, the person who made this frame actually made these flowers. And um, so I wanted to do something a little different. And you're talking about using different things. I'm not sure where this came from. Uh, it came off of something that I own. <laughs> I don't know if it was pajamas or what. Just don't throw anything away. You might can find a use for it. So what I thought I would do, and I am going to move this down. Oops, move my beads. I'm going to move those beads. Okay, now, um, one of the reasons I don't worry about my glue gun so much, and I put it in places you're probably going, oh! well, the thing is, is that it doesn't drip. Uh, now that I've said that, that will probably happen. Um, I have just a little bit farther that I can, excuse me, boy those beads, they are determined to unwind and make a mess. 
kind of like me. Okay. Now I am going to back off so that you can see what I'm actually doing. And I think that um, it will come into better play um, as I add my pieces. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, and I think I am going to start right here. And then what I want to do is just kind of follow the edge. So let's just do that. I'm going to put the, there's a little bitty hem on the bottom. And I am going, whoops, I'm trying to put it on the bottom, but of course, I didn't do that too well. I did it on the top. Okay, let's try it again. This is what happens when you do live videos. Um, <laughs> or let's say, this is what happens when Hazel Marie does live videos. <laughs> oh, goodness. I do get tickled at myself. Oh. It feels good to laugh because I haven't felt like laughing much lately. And it's, it's feeling good. This is the first time I've been in my craft room in a while. And it feels good. Um, I did come in a couple of days ago and I started on this project. Well, <clears throat> I ran out of time and uh, then I didn't feel like it. And then finally I felt like it again and here I am. So sometimes I have things in the works but it takes me a while to get them going. Okay, now, this little scroll, I'm going to call it a scroll. I'm not really sure what you call them. That sounds pretty good to me. And it stops right there. Okay. Got some glue. Don't want any unnecessary, unnecessary glue. And um, don't forget to use your cloth scissors when you're cutting fabric or ribbon because you don't want to use them on the wrong materials like paper because it will ruin your scissors. Um, I was in Walmart the other night and I really didn't take the time to uh, look at them real closely but they had uh, a scissor sharpener, and I thought, hmm, because, you know, we all have scissors, and uh, some's our favorite, some we just grab, whatever, and I thought, hmm, I wonder if that, it was only like $10, and I'm going, oh, I don't know if that would be good or not, because, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for. And uh, so I don't know. I haven't gone on uh, blind to look and see if they have um, more, you know, more, um, I don't want to say more expensive, but maybe better quality. Because um, I've never bought one. I don't know. But um, it could save you time and energy and money getting things um, sharpened. I know Michelle Pipling, <laughs> I get tickled at her, um, and she is uh, ribbons, roses, and lace, or just add glue. And I get tickled at her because <laughs> she's always grabbing the wrong scissors. And she says that uh, the guy who sharpens her scissors, I think, busses at her. Oh, <laughs> uh, Michelle's a mess. She's so cute. If you haven't been to her channel, you should go over and see 
Michelle. She's a, a very, very creative person. Well, I could just name so many people that are so creative. And some have made such a difference in my life. And uh, I just love so many different ones. Oh, my goodness. So, anyway, Michelle. <laughs> she uses the wrong scissors sometimes. So. I try not to. But it happens to all of us. Okay, let's see here. Um, how far down do you go? Oh, okay. You're going to go down a far away there. Okay. I'm hoping that by adding the color to the white, that you can see it better. Um, let's see here. There. Well, <laughs> got glue everywhere. Um, let's see here. <laughs> okay. Have you ever gone out to dinner and you look down at your rings and you go, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I have. Even though you wash your hands, you know, still, it seems like that glue. Oh, okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, oh, can you see? It's like a little ribbon going through. I think that's so, so, so cute. Okay, now I have glue. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I was going to say. Um, I was going to say I have little pearls. Oh. Okay, get out of here, glue. We don't have time for you. Right? Okay. And, uh, well, let's see. I think I'm going to try. Remember I was telling you that this puts out just a little bit of glue? Well, it does. And that's why I love this glue gun. Okay. Now, getting the glue on is not, no, we're not getting the glue on. Actually, well, yeah, I guess so. But getting the, uh, the pearls on. Ooh, oh my goodness. So pretty. Can a girl have enough pearls? I don't know. In crafting, no. Um, I have one set of pearls. Actually, I have two. Well, not set. I have one strand. Well, I guess you call it a strand. That one of my sisters, and uh, as I was telling you earlier, my, um, my sisters on my dad's side, and my brothers were all much older than I am. Uh, a lot of them were married and stuff like that. By the time I came along from, from my mom and dad. And uh, my mom had a family too. And um, so I was an only child in a sense of I really wasn't because I grew up with my mother's children a lot. But not with my dad's because they were older. And um, so anyway, it's whoops, there are no beads. <laughs> not really, I have more beads. But this strand um, I found in the drawer. Um, one of, um, I think it was Fiona. Jennings 644. She's kind of the matriarch of crafters. Or that's kind of how I think of her. <laughs> uh, when I first started watching YouTube uh, videos, crafting videos, I watched her all the time. 
It's a very creative film and very, very, very creative. It has a beautiful accent. She's from uh, England. And she lives in England. And she also has a shop. And um, Fiona's, uh, what is the name of her shop? I'll have to put it down at the bottom. I always get the name. It's, uh, I know it's a boutique, craft boutique, but it's, uh, I think it's Fiona Jennings, but I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. Oh, let's see. I'm going to try and use up some of these pearls. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this is my longest one. That's why they say never, ever throw anything away. And that's one of Fiona's sayings. And um, so I ended up trying to save my stuff. And it seems like it was, I had it in two or three different places. And so I bought a jar, one of those old-timey jars. I don't know that it's old-timey. I have one that's old. And um, I just throw everything in there. And uh, so I am going to do as Fiona does and just save everything. And look at this. Can you see? Just two little pearls. But what if you get to the end of your strand and you need two more pearls? Like, you know, if I don't use it and time goes by, I can always throw it away, can't I? So. Okay. We're going to add some more down this way. Oh, what do pearls do? Oh my goodness, they just add pizzazz and uh oh, just beauty. They're just so pretty. Love them, love them, love them. And I hope this video is not going too long. Oh, please don't. I try to make sure that I don't stop working while I'm talking because I do tend to talk a lot in my videos, I think. And I hope that's not a, a distraction for anyone. Ah, come on. There we go. Get those strands off of there. Okay, now that looks nice. Okay, now I am going to, I think I need the scissors, um, right here. I am going to, I wanted to add this flower and I think I'm going to go ahead I know it's a little large but I think I'm going to do it anyway because you're not going to be able to tell the flower underneath there okay this one I do have upside down okay now let's put this there up here Okay, and then we're going to put this little pink flower. Remember, I bought this one online um, from eBay. I feel like I've got spider webs all over me. Um, I don't like spiders. I don't like any kind of insects that crawl on you. Ugh. But anyway, that is neither here nor there. As my mom would say. Uh, let's see. Always make sure, crafters, that you make sure that you get the front facing upward and the other facing downward. Now, I am going to hang this. Um, over my um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a lot of glue because this is heavy I mean you know it's a, it's several several small doilies and I don't want it falling oh, I'm about to drop it I don't want it to 
come loose. Oh my, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's get you down really good. Ooh, these are down nice. Okay, now I want to move down to the other end. Um, remember those, I ended up with about six or eight or more of those little curls. Now, I'm going to come down here because I took some doilies and I cut them. And um, it's doilies I've had for a long time. Whoop! The, the glue strings are just carrying them with me. Okay. Oh, here it is. Okay, and this one's going to go over here like so. Now, what I want to do is I am going to, oh, I better make sure which one's up. Listen at me telling you, and I, oh, sometimes these are so hard to tell what I'm going to say this is. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I know you don't talk to your projects. I do. <sighs> Come on, glue. Okay. And what I'm trying to do now is just hit pieces of the doily just so that it will go downward. And I'm going to do some right here on the side. And I, whoa, 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 whoa. Get this over here. Where you go. There we go. Whew. Oh, it's a little warm. Okay. Okay, there we go. Got one down. Destroying glue. Oh, did I have a piece of um, acetate on there? I'm not sure where that came from. But let's make sure we are going the right direction here. Okay, I think this is the back side. Okay. What I'm trying to do is um, pushing the doily up close to the pearls so that you don't see um, the edges where I cut this. And anytime you cut a doily, sometimes a piece is going to not, I can't believe it. I got both sides going good. Oh, good. Just a little dab of glue. Okay. There we go. Woo! Glue, glue. Okay, now. For down here, I have these beautiful flowers. Oops, I forgot to take the pearl off. That's really neat, isn't it? I'm trying to get up under the pearl and... That was what I was trying to do. Now, and I have loads of glue again. Okay, now this one we're going to take off also. No matter how hard we try to be prepared, it doesn't always work out that way. Oh, come on. Got 
one. Okay, these are on like with a bread. Okay, I wonder I could not get that little guy off. Okay, now. And when you put yours on, if you have two going up here, make sure this one has two up here. Okay. And then one on the other side, just like that. Now, these flowers came from Fiona's store. Oops, excuse me. Can't hold anything. Glue. Oh, um, so cute. Now these compared to, and I don't know what size these are, but I'm just gonna say, you know, we all have these. But look at the difference in size. Oh, love these. These were gifted to me, and um, I just love them. So. Put that one there. Okay. Um, let's see. Here's my other one. Okay. That's really right there. Making sure the greens are going the same way. Okay, isn't that pretty? I just love it. Okay, wish you could see it in person. Okay, now, this is what will be going in the center. Isn't that beautiful? Remember, I got this idea from uh, Paper Made Pretty. And um, you need to go over and look for Paper Made Pretty all together and look and see um, how she made hers. Now, she made hers as wall hangings where you hang them uh, from the rosette. Now, isn't that a beautiful rosette? It's so pretty. And um, anyway, um, I made that and then I had to cut it down because as we all know sometimes we don't make them the right size put a lot of glue and I'm going to let's see here I'm gonna stand up because I can't really tell because these are symmetrical how this is made and I want it to be the same from top to bottom and hold that for just a second now my second layer is going to be a dually and this is one uh, that I bought online. And if you go online, if um, you want just crafting doilies or doilies that um, you don't mind sharing, because I know sometimes we get possessive of our <laughs> of our vintage ones or those that we get from special friends or whatever. And, uh, but anyway, you can get these usually, um, 12 for 12, you know, 12 for $12 or 12 for $10. And, uh, you can get them in white and necro. I believe colors too, but I don't usually look at colors. And I'm just putting a little map of glue, um, oops. Not on the edge, but just in the middle of um, the, uh, oops, I've done that way. Okay, made it all the way around. 
Okay, now we have second layer. The third layer, whoops, and um, I'm not really sure where I got this because I buy so many different things at so many different places. Um, just kind of make sure it's centered. And then um, that's the one thing I have learned from Michelle and, and uh, Fiona and different people is that um, you make sure of where you want it to lay and then you then you add your glue and glue it in place. So that's what I'm doing right here. Okay, so we have three layers. Oh, and this is a Battenberg lace. Um, I, I may have bought it at an, the antique store that I was telling you the outfit I bought this from. I am not sure. Now, <clears throat> here is our second Lizette. Now, this one is smaller, of course. And, um... I am going to whoops find I'm going to try and put it in the center okay that one's not laying down exactly like it's supposed to is why it looks shorter didn't realize that, but we'll just go down. No problem. No problem. Now we're going to add a smaller doily. And I am going to put glue right here. And then, oops, stick my finger in the glue. Okay. And just a little bit of glue here and there so that it doesn't kind of get wonky. My mother did not use that word, believe me. <laughs> but I've noticed several people on, on YouTube do use it. So I'm not the only one. Who doesn't want their stuff wonky, lopsided, flopping around, that kind of thing. So, you guys are so easy to talk to. I feel like I'm talking to you, actually. Okay, now, this is a gathered lace um, for the makings of a... Um, of a flower and sometimes I just make make them up to have them I'm gonna put him in the middle okay right there then I bought this one online and I'm going to put glue and I am going to put it right here in the middle and I bought these online also isn't that beautiful uh, I do tend to buy things online uh, because I just don't have the time or energy I love making flowers but sometimes I just don't have the time or energy now, is that beautiful? Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm going to get my, um, let's see here. Whoops, I don't know what I think I'm doing. Let me find the top of my, uh, okay. Oh, so pretty. I don't need, uh, got scissors falling all over the place now okay let's see 
I'm going to put a little bit down there and a little bit here on my on my leaf. Find the center. And then I'm gonna kind of oops. <laughs> Get glue to it. Okay, that will work. And we are going to let's see here. Let's see, we've got one, two, three. Okay. Trying to get this up under there because I didn't want any of it to show. There we go. Well, you know, after I say bye to you in this video, I might add something else. I don't know. But if I do, I will. Whoa! What am I doing? Oh! One, two, three. Talking and not watching what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Well, isn't that pretty? Oh, oh my goodness. Just don't need to do that. Don't need any calamities. Let's see if I can pull this back. Some. You see that? I just think that's so beautiful. There and there, and I am going to take a photograph so that you can see it. Um, oops. Let's see. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get this all in here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just think that's so beautiful. Now, if you're going over to uh, Paper Made Pretty, you will see um, how the rosettes are used as wall hangings by themselves. They are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love, 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 love that channel. And uh, I hope that you do too. Uh, I want to say her name is Violet. Oh, if I get that wrong, that's terrible. I will put that as a link to my down below uh, so that you can have it. But I think, oh, am I going the wrong way? No, I'm not. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> oh, we. We never know where we're going. Let's see, we got one more. That, oh, it's just so pretty. Oh, I can just sit here and look at it all night. After I get it set up and everything, I will come back and I will show you where I placed it. I'm kind of moving my room around a little bit, so uh, I want it to be just right when you see it. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, shared project <laughs> uh, whatever you want to call it and you don't have to have a frame like this you can have any kind of frame you can go get you a wooden frame at Hobby Lobby or Walmart any place and you can add stuff to it if you want to I mean hey you could even add cardboard if you wanted to uh, it's just this creative you know part of you will come out and say hey let's do it like this or let's do it like that or you may decide just to do just the the rosette uh, wall hanging but to give it a try it was fun 
uh, gosh, I've missed a uh, thing here with you. Take care. God bless. Back to you.